Hello and welcome to my F122 driver career mode here today for part 23 for the British Grand Prix. It's meant to be a dry weekend unlike the last race but before we get into it this is your qualifying report. So it didn't start off great in qualifying we had an oil leak at our home Grand Prix but eventually the team managed to sort that one out and we did manage to get ourselves out onto the track. It wasn't the best of laps. I'd never been quick round Silverstone. The first lap, we were slowest. And then on our final run at the end of qualifying, and it still wasn't a good lap. We found loads of time, but still not enough of being pushed around the track by the car behind. We go wide, but it's still only good enough for P20. It's time to see how our drivers are stacking up after yesterday's exciting qualifying session. An immense lap from Carlos Sainz yesterday puts him in pole position and it's Charles Leclerc in P2. Moving on to the rest of the grid, we have Perez, Verstappen, George Russell and Ricardo, Fernando Alonso, Norris, Hamilton and Yuki Tsunoda, Mick Schumacher, Gasly, Alex Albon and Magnussen. Ocon, Stroll, Robert Schwartzman, and Guan Yu Zhou, Brown, and Nicholas Latifi. It's almost time for those five red lights to go out then. Let's see who can prevail today. So we've gained one place with Latifi taking a penalty. There is a slight threat of rain towards the end, but we'll have to see if that comes. We're going to do a one stop. Starting on the softs, going on to the hards, we need to go aggressive. So here we go then, can we get points on home soil and have a good result? Here at Silverstone, it's lights out and away we go and it's pretty much 2 by 2 at the front. Both Ferraris get an equal start. Leclerc from Poldo as their side by, we nearly hit the back. They're off an Alfa Romeo. We've nearly sliced the back of our teammate as well as we dive bomb down the inside into Village. We've gained some places there. As we look to go round the outside of the Williams and Ocon in the Alfa Tauri. And we get both We on the exit side by side with Esteban Ocon. As we head down the Wellington Strait, those ahead, very much gone already. Round the outside, we go on Esteban Ocon in the Alfa Tauri. We force him a long way around the field and we get the job done. Through the kink of Woodcut and now we skip on to the hangar straight as we made a little mistake coming off the back of chapel and now Ocon tries to go to the outside but we go wide and he sent us to the shops there has Esteban Ocon waits for us to run wide goes to our inside but he's locked up Ocon's locked up and now the Williams behind I think could possibly have a go look at the gap already to the cars behind as we go off at chapel one lap later and Ocon has another chance to get past us and this time it might well be checkmate but we hold it around the outside through Stowe now we're going to be wheel to wheel going into the veil chicane and we're on the inside there's nearly contact there Ocon be pushing right off the track around the outside goes Alex Albon in at the Williams and it's a great great move from him we've massively helped him out there now we go with to with Albon, which is pretty, pretty much a home ground prix for him, sort of. As we nearly hit the back of Albon there, nearly slides off his tyre. So now heading down through into Stowe, and we have gone wide, we've gone all wide and off the track at Stowe. And now Ocon, but I think it's about round three, could have a go, but he's too far back. But we have locked up and gone wide through the Veil vale Chicane, Ocon's gone through. And now Lance, our teammate, could have a little look at us. Now we're side by side down how much of straight. And we keep it pinned around the outside through Abbey, through Farm. And we just about stay ahead of our teammate. For now it's down the inside, he comes under pressure from Joey Guan Yu. But Stroll stays ahead. So on board now with Lance Stroll through Cops. We've gone a little bit wide and now he's got a great bonus. Is he going to have a look through Maggots? He's on the inside and we make contact. He spun us round at Maggots and Magnussen has hit us as we spin in the middle of the track. Nicholas Latifi finds himself 
in the mix as well. There was also the Alfa Romeo of Schwarzman involved in that as well. But for the second time this season, we make contact with Lance Stroll. If you think back to Australia, when we wiped him out, he's now wiped us out. Luckily not completely out of the race. But we have a new front wing. And now we go onto the hard tyres and on lap 5 with 21 to go. It's going to be a long day as down the inside goes Joe Guan Yu. And he gets the job done on us and that's Lance Stroll. Lance Stroll's pulling off and out of this race. Maybe he had suspension damage or something from that incident. I wouldn't be surprised. He went straight into the side of us. But we got mugged left, right and centre. We're now you can see, see the two Ferraris a lap down. So I decided we might as well save the engine. It's been an awful weekend for us. And it's going to end in a double DNF as I decided to save the engine. Right, that was to take the win for Ferrari today. So, Anthony, what made the difference out there today? Well, they certainly stood out as a driver with tons of confidence on the track. I think their ability to keep their cool, even during some of the more hectic parts of the race, meant they were able to capitalise on the mistakes of other drivers, giving them the opportunity to make their way to the top spot with ease. Here come our winners now. A thrilling race and a tremendous effort by Ferrari. Their history is well known, so it's no surprise to fans the world over to see them come out on top once again. And after this round of the World Championship, here's how things look in the driver's table. Let's focus on driver of the day, Anthony Davidson. Who do you pick? Nicholas Latifi gets my vote today. Yes, you heard that correctly. Nicholas Latifi, the GOAT himself, has managed to get himself driver of the day. Fair play. But it's a double DNF for us. I think the first one of the season. Absolutely shocking. At our home Grand Prix, Aston Martin literally around the corner from the track. But that win for Charles Leclerc, back-to-back -back wins, is now put him top of the Drivers' Championship by six points ahead of George Russell. No one really scoring points behind us, which is good as well. In terms of constructors, it's very tight at the top. Just three points in it between Mercedes and Ferrari. That one two for Ferrari definitely helping them in the constructors we stay on four points so do Alfa Romeo and now we go into the next race in Austria our second sprint race with a lot to prove and we need to bounce back from this because that was absolutely shocking and I think we're gonna have to go to a very toxic debrief here at Silverstone but until the sprint in Austria goodbye